What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I just started taping up some boxes here at home to do some more packing, and I was like, I should probably start the video. Um, so, I got one so far, but I have a big pile here. I'm going to tape, tape most of them up, take some downstairs, and start doing some more packing. I honestly have not done any packing for a few days. Uh, once we... Once we thought we weren't getting the house, I, I stopped packing, not on purpose, I just I just haven't packed anything since then. So it's been a few days, I need to get some stuff done, and uh, yeah. So we still have the box mountain that I've, that I've created over here. I got the virtual boy kiosk sitting up top, because there's nowhere else to put it. Um, but I'm just going to continue working. Um, I'll probably be getting... Maybe the Super Nintendo games boxed up today. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe Dreamcast. Dreamcast would actually be easier. There's nothing blocking it right now. There's a bunch of stuff in front of the Super Nintendo shelf. But either way, um, I'm going to do some packing before I head into the store. And we're already open, so I'm already, you know, not going in early anyway. But... Um, I know that our friends uh, Jackie and John are driving up from Southern Oregon, and you guys might remember them. We went to Arizona with them on that game hunting trip, and uh, John is bringing a bunch of stuff to sell to us. Well, it's not really a bunch of stuff. It's just, it's a high dollar amount, but it's few items because they're all rare games. So later today in the video, you'll be seeing some more rare games that essentially are being traded into the store which is super super awesome we got a bunch yesterday which is really cool if you missed yesterday's vlog definitely check it out yesterday was more of just like an old school style vlog um mainly just showing trade-ins and that's it <laughs> i didn't do any sort of like you know special editing or anything like that um talked a little bit more about the house kind of stuff but um i guess until you know until we are getting the keys or whatever there isn't really much more to talk about <laughs> um so hopefully by the end of the month we are getting the keys to our new home and if not by the end of the month it'll be early september at the very latest so um originally our closing date was supposed to be uh the 17th which is in like 10 days and that's just not enough time for the sellers to get the work done that that we're required that we are requiring before we move in so um, they're gonna get that stuff done ASAP the closing date could be sooner just depends on when the work is done so I'm gonna get to work and then in a little bit here we'll head into the store packing um, off camera just more of the switch stuff a lot of the special edition type stuff but um, here is the pile now so these first two rows there was one box each on the bottom but I added all those and then this one top one right there so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine nine new boxes of stuff I got all the Dreamcast games packed 
I got the Game Gear games packed, all the other little accessories and random stuff that was on that same shelf with them. And then I got the majority of the Switch games packed. And there's so many special editions, they take up a lot of room. So just Switch, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven boxes so far, plus the one that I that I had already boxed up like a couple weeks ago. Um, so <clears throat> I probably have another, I don't know, maybe three or four more boxes of Switch games to go before they're all packed. And it's just because there's so many special editions. Like I said, they take up a lot of room. I've got like the, the Zelda Masters Edition, which is huge, the regular special edition of that, the Sonic Mania, the Mario Rabbids with the figure, and I have all the extra figures. Like, they're just gonna take up so much room, probably more than four boxes. Um, but I'm trying to decide what is actually worth putting into a box like this and not into the bigger boxes because some of the bigger Switch games might have to go in the bigger boxes because otherwise it's going to be like two games per box and that's that's like a waste of, of a box basically. So I think I'm pretty much done. Um, at least for now, I might come home and, and pack some more tonight. But for now, I think I'm going to head into the store. Later. So trades here at the store are really, really piling up. So I'm going to go through these really quick and I'm not sorting these. I don't have time. I need to get get done with these because we have a couple of trades that people have dropped off that we still need to go through as well. So there's a lot of work to do today, but let's take a look at these for now. First is this red rock band guitar for PS4. <laughs> I think we have a blue one as well, but there's that. We have a little stack of cartridges here. We have Crash Purple for Game Boy Advance, Zelda Four Swords, Rampage 2, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario All-Stars, Super Mario World, another Donkey Kong Country, and Star Fox. I have not looked at anything yet, by the way. So I'm seeing everything for the first time. We have, oh, there's some games in here. We have some, I guess, graphic novels, uh, Hellblazer, White the Great Pursuit, Walking Dead comic. Is that number one? Um, Walking Dead volume something. Uh, Black the Birth of Evil. Then there's a jam pack demo, Prince of Persia trilogy for PS3. And then we have a G.I. Joe lunchbox, which has the thermos in it. That's pretty cool. Then we have these three giant stacks. So we have DJ Hero 2. DJ Hero 1, Band Hero, TV Superstars, EA Active 2, Dragon's Dogma, Legacy of Kane Defiance, Hunter the Reckoning, Carve, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Is there a CD in here with it? No. Before I get a million comments, yes, I did just notice this is the wrong game in this case entirely. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna get it taken out of the system. Neo, Vampire, uh, Marvel Spider-Man, Grand Theft Auto Double Pack for Xbox, Bulletstorm Epic Edition, uh, Batman Arkham City. Hey, what's up? What you eating? What? <laughs> I don't know. WWE 13, Hasbro Family Game Night 2, Super Trucks Racing, NBA 2K13, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Star Wars Clone Wars. Sorry if sometimes like I'm looking at the games, but the camera's like this. I'm looking at the actual game so I can read it. I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> Disney Infinity, Madden 2012, FIFA 11, Monopoly, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I, I think that our friends Jackie and John have not been in here yet uh, because I know that they had some PS1 games and there's only one here and I know that's not the one that we were supposed to be getting. But it is Legend of Dragoon, so it's still good. And then a couple PSP games here. Aragon, Untold Legends, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and SpongeBob, Yellow Avenger. We have Mario Party 8, Just Dance 4, Nintendo Land, New Super Mario Bros. U, Majora's Mask 3D, Colony Wars Vengeance, Splinter Cell, Hitman Contracts, Grand Theft Auto 3, Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. What are you looking for? Uh, Dot Hack Infection. Hmm. That was from. That's from yesterday. That was from yesterday, so. Back here? If it was back here, it would have been in, I think, this first stack. Because I think that was the stack I put back here, so if it's not here, then it should be out. Oh, we took a stack to the other resurfacer. 
it's probably, oh, probably probably in there. Yeah. It was all the good games, so I wanted to get them out right away. Final Fantasy X, WWE 2K15, Gears of War Judgment, Carnival Games, Epic Mickey, Disney Universe. He's pulling orders, so that's why he needs it, because it's sold. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition, Skyrim, Destiny, Smarty Pants, Disney Think Fast. That's kind of cool. It's got like a holographic looking cover. Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz, Circus Games, Lego Indiana Jones, Build-A-Bear, Forza 4, uh, Hole in the Wall Deluxe Edition. Never seen that game. Uh, Skylander, Spyro's Adventure, Madagascar, Fast and the Furious Showdown, Madden 15, NBA 2K17, NHL 18, Madden 19, Madden 18, Madden 17, Madden 16, Madden 15, oh my god, NBA Live 18, NBA 2K17, MLB 18, MLB 17, 16, 15, why would, we? I don't know who took those in, but they shouldn't have, Battlefield 1, NBA 2K18, North American Hunting Extravaganza 2, I have never seen that game either, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Rare Replay, NCAA Football 08, Borderlands Handsome Collection, whoop, Destiny 2, Destiny 1, Dante's Inferno. Oh my god, look at all those stickers. Uh, Morrowind, Prototype, Tony Hawk's Shred, Star Wars Force Unleashed 2, Halo 4, Battlefield 3, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, Spyborgs, Capcom game, Borderlands Handsome Collection again, Destiny Taken King. So, that's everything so far, but like I said, we have a couple bundles that have been dropped off that are much cooler than all of this stuff um and then jackie and john looks like they have not come in yet but they have really good stuff that they're bringing in as well so there's more to come here's another awesome little trade-in that was sitting um out right outside the door here so um it was probably just too busy for someone to walk it back but we have a donkey kong country with the box don't know if it's complete but it's in pretty rough condition there's a big crease across the front there you can see it's like all warped down um, so definitely poor condition um, but yeah that's that's pretty cheap for a complete one so it maybe doesn't have a manual it'll say if you look at it on the website it just doesn't say it on the tag and then WarioWare for the GameCube nice complete one and then Lego Super, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 for the Switch yeah this is some good stuff right here 2,000 years later and now it is time to finally look through the rest of today's trade-ins we warped through quite a bit of time. It is, it's getting pretty late actually. It is 10.39 p.m. So Abby and I are still here working on stuff. Um, I got a bunch of stuff into the system that was dropped off earlier today. I didn't even finish it. We still have one more trade-in, which um, is in a box here. I was about to show you, but there's stuff on top of the box that is part of another trade-in that's technically not ours yet. I know we're gonna make the deal, but um, I'm going to wait to show you guys that. But there's one bundle that was dropped off. It is... So if you get... I don't know if you guys remember a while ago, we got all of those... Um, what is it? Like the Arcadia games um, that we ended up selling in one bundle. This is something like that. Um, it's mostly... I think it's all TI-99 games. There's a bunch of them. And there's a lot of complete and box ones as well. This is not the kind of stuff that I think would really sell too well here at the store, so it's probably a bundle that I'm going to do maybe either on eBay or if one of you guys are interested just to get everything in one shot, I'm going to try to do that. Um, but we do have some really awesome stuff here, and then also, uh, for anyone that's interested, the bundle of stuff that I picked up with the Virtual Boy kiosk has now been gone through as well. So the Neo Geo Pocket Color games, the Virtual Boy games, that stuff is on the website right now. I got that stuff in today as well, but let's take a look at these trades. I have put everything in order of price, and we're gonna start off over here. This is a stack of kind of just random stuff. Here's the other stuff I put in, by the way. Um, so this is random stuff here. We have Terraria, Mario Maker 2, and Pokemon Sword for the Switch. We have our original Xbox demo, new Super Mario Bros. 2, Resident Evil Deadly Silence, Chrono Trigger, and Pokemon White 2. So these, oops, these four DS games right here, those were all cartridge only when they were traded in. We had cases for all of them, which is awesome. And then for DS Loose, we did not have cases for. There's really good stuff in here too. Look, camera looks a little blurry. Let me wipe them off real quick. 
Is that better? Okay, we have Blue Dragon Plus, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, Rune Factory, Rune Factory 2, Ever Oasis, Contact, uh, Rune Factory 3, they're getting expensive, Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy, Dragon Quest 6, and Dragon Quest 5. Very expensive, that's ridiculous. <laughs> then we have Game Boy Advance games. We have Super Mario Advance, Castlevania, Circle of the Moon, Astro Boy, The Omega Factor, and Metroid Fusion. These bags are a little smaller. This is the normal bag that we use. Um, th these are the only bags we have left right now. We've made another order, but they're not here yet, so a lot of them are in bags like that. Then for Game Boy slash Game Boy Color, we have two copies of Wave Race, and then we have Conquer's Pocket Tales and Roland's Curse, which is a pretty uncommon Game Boy game, and we've never had that one in. <laughs> One PSP game, just a loose copy of Persona. We have a Game Boy Advance Game Shark. This does not work on the SP. It's only for the original model. And then we have the SpongeBob SquarePants Game Boy Advance SP. This is an AGS 101, so it's got the backlit screen. This is an original shell. This is not a reproduction replacement shell. Although it does have some little bite marks up here like from a dog or something you can see them kind of up on the plastic as well so other than that it's in really really nice condition a lot of these are super super worn this one has a little bit of wear to it right here but overall it's in pretty good shape then for the xbox 360 let me see if i can move this down right there we have lots of sports games but we have madden nfl 12 13 11 NBA Live 09, NBA 2K13, Dead Island Riptide, Skyrim, NBA 2K15, NBA 2K11, NBA 2K16, Pure, 2K12, two copies, Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4, Marvel vs. Cap Marvel vs. Capcom 3, UFC Undisputed 3, Fight Night Champion, Blur, and then it's a sports game, but it's it's expensive. NCAA Basketball 10. So the price has gone down on this because the last one we had, according to our system, we sold for 70. So price is going down, but still an expensive sports game. I was trying to avoid them falling. <laughs> we have a Sega CDX. And this did come with cables and a controller. Works great. These things are so rare. I think we've only ever had one other one traded into the store. And I'm pretty sure that I have one in my garage somewhere, which if it is still in there, I'm glad that we never pulled it out and sold it because when I got it, it was only worth like 200 bucks. But they're selling for a lot of money. This is crazy. Next up, we have some Blu-ray here. Hercules Extended Cut, Pacific Rim, The Sky Crawlers, John Wick Chapter 2, It, Kong Skull Island, John Wick, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Rango, Star Wars Force Awakens, Rogue One, Indiana Jones Complete Adventures, that's really cool, <laughs> Star Wars New uh, Trilogy, Original Trilogy, 1917, that's a sealed copy, but it's in there, it's pre-owned, uh, Godzilla, John Wick Chapter 3 with a steelbook case, Saving Private Ryan, and Shin Godzilla. We also had a Chucky... Uh, seven movie collection, but uh, my friend David picked that up. We have Coach Carter. These are DVDs here. National Security, Just Right, The Last Dragon, Fast and the Furious, Thor, Ragnarok, Martin Lawrence Live, The Karate Kid Special Edition, and Apocalypto. And then we're going to get into the really, really good stuff here. For GameCube, we have two games. We have City Racer, which is complete. Pretty tough to find game, and I just gave it away, but we also have Chibi Robo. So you can probably see a tag right here that's on the back of it because this is on someone's wish list. Uh, it's too late for us to call them tonight, obviously, but tomorrow we're going to call, and hopefully it's still available because um, they're probably going to want it. It's someone locally who's bought a lot of like high-end GameCube games from us, but that is super cool. It is also complete. And then... 
PS1. This is the cheapest game in the PS1 stack. <laughs> and that is Alundra. This one does have the map, but it has possible water damage to the back of the case artwork. Um, so you can see it doesn't, it almost doesn't look like it's water damage, but it's definitely wavy. So I put possible water damage on there. Um, and of course it's marked down because of that. The last one we sold with the map, or I think the regular price is like 250 ish or something. The map is crazy expensive by itself. I sold two of the maps on eBay for a hundred dollars a piece, which is, that's literally insane. But next we have Echo Knight, which is another pretty rare game. I sent pictures to my friend Sam. He asked about this one. I gave him the price, but he has not responded. So I think he's actually asleep because he's three hours ahead of us being on the East Coast. So if he wants it, I'm hoping it's still there in the morning. But the last PS1 game is Tales of Destiny 2. Pretty rare game. And I felt very lucky and happy that I already own all three of these. So I had no desire to hold on to them. Um, and that's the thing. Like... Some people like to complain that I keep all the good stuff, but I'm not going to keep it if I already have it. And once I have the game, I never have to keep it again, obviously. So I'm only, you know, I'm only need, I need one copy of each game. So once I have all the good stuff, then everything else that comes in is for the store. <laughs> but these are all complete, by the way. Two discs there, manual and disc there. So that is super awesome. But we are not done. We have some Sega stuff. One Dreamcast game, Bangayo. Pretty rare one. Luckily, I also have this. I will be honest with you guys, I did keep one Sega CD game, but it was the cheapest out of all of these. So, nothing to worry about. I already had all the other ones. We have Bangayo for Dreamcast. We have a CD backup RAM cart in the box. There is no manual, and it has a rip on the artwork right here, but it is in the box. Um, the, the cartridge itself is what is expensive. They go for about 100 bucks loose. So in the box for 140 it's a little bit more, yeah, but the cartridge is where the main value is. And like I said, this one has no manual. And then we have Lunar, the Silver Star. This is the second game that my friend Sam had asked about, but like I said, he has not replied. So super awesome. And then we also have Vey, which we've had this one a couple times, but it's definitely been going up in value. A lot of Sega CD and Saturn games are doing that still, which is kind of crazy because other things are coming back down from like their peak prices during the pandemic. But Sega CD and Saturn, it's not coming back down, and I don't think it will. <laughs> but they super cool. And lastly, last game for the video, we have Lunar Eternal Blue, which is Lunar 2. Um, this has gotten crazy expensive because I was pretty sure that both Lunars for Sega CD were closer to 150 to 180. I thought they were pretty similar in price, but you know, pricing them out today, this is, I mean, it's going for way more than the first one, which is just crazy. But, um, yeah, very, very awesome stuff. Um, unfortunately I didn't, didn't get to film before, uh, Ryan left today cause we had a customer that was here after closing. They were here longer than Ryan was. Uh, but he did buy a few things today. I don't think it was anything too, too crazy, but, um, you know, I like to show you when he gets stuff too. He enjoys it, but, uh, but yeah, so I need to take pictures of all this stuff, get it out ready for the guys to put away in the morning. And then we will have more trade-ins to look at tomorrow. Like I said, one of two of them were dropped off today. One of them I have kind of completed. I'm just waiting to confirm with the owner, which I'm pretty sure we're going to make the deal. We've made lots of deals with them. The other stuff is the TI-99 stuff, which I haven't even gone through yet. So I don't really have any info on that stuff for you yet, but tomorrow we should. But before I forget, we also have a package to open. So let's do that right now. This also came in today. Hi guys. There's a package here. Cooper's making me open it. They know there's a package because I said it. How am I supposed to know that you said it? I was in the other room. Oh, I'm sorry. This is from Lester. <laughs> and it says, two <laughs> Man, that was such an old man sneeze. Sneezy. That was an old man sneeze, guys. That was the kind of sneeze that I do to, because I try to make my sneezes as loud as I can. Okay, 
says, what up, peeps? Figured since the crew has grown, I should send an updated version with everyone included. Hope you like this one as much as the first one I sent you. I took inspirations from one of the best games ever. Wish you guys all the best and hope you hope to be able to visit the store soon. God bless, Lester. P.S. Congrats on the house. Oh, man. I don't know. It's like stuck in the Some bottom. sort of picture frame or something, but it's upside down. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is so good. Oh <laughs> my god. That's Devin. <laughs> and then there's Naven. Yeah. And then Ryan and Kyle. And TJ. Oh my <laughs> god. That's really cool. This is amazing. That one's so good. Oh, I guess I should show you guys. It's the whole double jump crew in Mario Kart. This is phenomenal. <laughs> oh my god. I love this. It's very cool. He did like the double jump logo in like the Mario Kart font. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Naven's like flying out of the cart. <laughs> Nobody knows what Kyle looks like without a, I'm assuming, without a mask when he did this. That's, this is so great. The problem is that Kyle leaves at, like, what time does Kyle work till every day? Kyle works from uh, 11.30 to 4.30. So he leaves at 4.30, but I'm sometimes getting here at 3 or 4 p.m. And then he never, like, comes back and says, like, hey, let's film something before you leave. He just leaves without even saying goodbye to me. Oh, my God. This is amazing. It's very cool. I don't even want this to be at the house. I just want this to be at the house. Or I don't <laughs> want this to be at the store. I want this to be at the house. It has to be at the store. This is so cool. We're going to have to make some room. Uh, yeah, take we're down getting, your Nintendo flag. We, no. No, we can move no. this one down here. Oh, okay. I thought he was talking about I think Because he did this one as well. He did. So we'll put it right above that one. This one is so cool. They're both cool, but yeah. I love it. I do like this one. It more. has everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. He did a pretty good job on DJ, too. He did a really good job. And he got DJ's pink toe bean just like Aria. <laughs> and Ryan's beanie. And Kyle's always wearing a hat. Kyle was hitting them with the turtle shell. <laughs> he was. Oh, but I'm, win so I'm winning, good. of course. Because <laughs> that's how it is. I should be at the very Kart. end because I always lose <laughs> Mario Kart. This is so good. Thank you again. That's Sorry, this is like cool. three minutes of me just like looking at this very intensely. It is very cool though. You guys can pause when Abby shows it if you want to like check it out. Let me see if I can I block. I can it down or up. Oh. Right there. Where's you can pause phone? it if you want to check it out, but yeah, that is super, I'm super send cool. I'm a picture in the group text with everybody. Thank you, Lester. Thank you. Time to go home. Time to go home, time to go home.